Jerome and Candice have agreed to tie the knot, but there isn't much agreement about the actual details of the wedding. We're back and forth about this wedding thing. He wants a big wedding. I want something tiny. I would like to go down by RGD. He's not having it. Just like I wanted a tiny ring and up with something bigger. Um, so we, we haven't quite decided. We're, we're working our way there. I'm not a fan of weddings. I, I believe they are for John Public and not for the couple. And I'm selfish with my love, I'm selfish with my partner. I don't want persons feasting on us and picking us apart and tearing apart that day that's supposed to be special for both of us. So I'm not too keen on having a wedding. He wants to showcase our love to the whole wide world. I would rather keep it simple. Few friends, few family, us saying our vows and tying the knot. That is what I would like. I guess for her, the simple things she will never forget. For me, sometimes the grand things I never forget. So um, we, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna talk some more about it, and we're gonna put ideas together. We're gonna pick out um, what is best. Maybe we're gonna do something at RGD just for her, you know, so that she's happy. And then a couple months down the road, we do for me so that I'm happy. <laughs> but we, we're definitely going to figure it out. They not only complement each other as lovers, but also as business partners. I did tattoos and piercings. Jerome yeah. really helps me manage that in general, in terms of, because I have staff. So he does a lot of training with the staff to ensure customer service is on point. We also offer body waxing. Right, full body waxing and facials, that's another section of the business. And most recently we've opened a male and female underwear and footwear store, right? Um, that is the one that we do together most mm -hmm. of all because we have to order everything together. I have to get his input, right? And he ensures that the marketing is being done and of course he's still on staff because I'm most times I'm busy actually tattooing and actually piercing because that takes up a lot of my time, right? So everything else, he comes mostly in the evenings and manages and makes sure everything is running as it should. But for the most part, we, we share common interests. I mean, she's an artist, I'm not very artistic. I, I tend to think I am, but I'm not very artistic. <laughs> I, I used to be more athletic. So I kind of try to find a balance between art and athleticism, I guess, and uh, entertainment, because I love entertainment. So I find that balance between the two, and we use that. So as it relates to, to business, I let her do her, and she's great at being artistic. She's good at managing also. Um, she's, she, she, she's somebody that people look up to. Sometimes I don't think she knows it, but her work ethic is extreme to none. I've yet to, to, to see somebody who I know who, who took something that was considered extremely taboo out of this box and I mean would never reach anywhere and made it something extremely different. And like any other couple, they too have disagreements. We argue a lot, but they're always over minor stuff and our arguments last minutes. Yeah. Nothing long. We usually end up laughing after and I think I think that's why we gel so well. Um, I'm not somebody who carries our own grudges where Jerome is concerned. Um, <laughs> um, so we usually, we usually bicker. Yes, I would say bicker. I don't really think we argue. I think we bicker a lot. Sometimes stuff in the house, like she'll leave the drawer open. Listen, I hate he's it. very particular about the house. He has some yeah. weird things. She'll take weird ice, from the ice cube from the, the ice tray. She'll take two ice from the ice tray of 12. And don't fold it back. Like that's, that. that's ridiculous. Like, who is going to take out two cubes out of an ice cube of 12 and leave back? There's 10 there. I don't, need to, I don't need to fold back two. That don't make no sense. F you know, that's where the things. Are. Those are the, the, the minor things bother me. Small things. So I want the ice cube to have 12 in there. So if you're not going to use the 12 cube, you're going to use two. Just fold back two. That don't make no sense. That's it. Just push in the drawer. I don't want to go back for ice and the two melted and the rest. No, that's where you mess up the place. No. <laughs> She always asked me to promise her, never leave when we're upset. So I don't want to jump into the car and drive somewhere and cool my head off. No, she wants me to stay there 
sit down in the house <laughs> and some way, somehow talk to myself for the wall and get calm. Or when I'm walking on the rich pinches money pool. And I hate it. But <laughs> she's been doing it for six years and I hate it. She does it same. So yeah, she does all kind of stuff. It's been seven years. It's been it's been a lot of time. Um, and I've grown to love you more and more every year. Uh, I never thought that would happen. But it has never been a year ended that I don't want to end it with you. Never. And I, you annoy the hell out of me sometimes. <laughs> you get me to that place. But the reality is that love is, is absolutely genuine. And I feel it more and more, even when I'm angry. I feel that love and I feel I need to stay committed to you. I feel that you deserve, you deserve more than the world. You deserve more than I can give. And that is why sometimes it stresses me. I think I want to give you everything your heart desire at any time your heart desire. And I will love you forever. And that's that's, that's okay. my commitment to you. Don't cry. It's been almost seven years. Mm -hmm. And that in no way, shape or form is enough for I need to have you every day. I need, I need you forever. I need you for as long as I'm around. And I, I don't think it's something I say to you enough. Right? I think, I think um, I don't tell you enough how much I need you. I know you know I love you. Right? I tell you that every day. But I don't think I tell you how much I need you there with me. Right? And I mean, I don't necessarily mean physically, <laughs> but I need you, I need all of you, yeah. not so little, and I can't wait to have red-headed babies with you, <laughs> but I love you. Jerome and Candice value the importance of building a strong foundation for a lasting relationship. Join us next week for another Alok Show. Take care. <laughs>